Hey everyone, welcome back to the front show. Um, today I kind of have a bit of a sad video. Uh, my pond has grown fungus on some of my kois. Uh, like enough of all the kois I got, only these for you are tend to be the worst. reason why they're in at the moment. With a heater, I'm being treated. Um, but there's another two, it's got like little bit of spots which I'm not concerned about at the moment. Um, I think it's just due to pork water quality and obviously the immune system in, in the winter are, is lower and it is in the system uh, in the summer. So I think some of these just happens to do poor water, poor water quality on my part and then a bit of a hardy, uh, a bit of a shit winter for these guys. Um, which you could tell the grass koi is quite the worst one of them all. Um, I don't really, really free. Rosie, piss off. So the moment they are in and being treated for it, the, the pond's also being treated for it just to be in the safe side, but that graph, it doesn't seem to be none of the goldfish, it just seems to be the koi, which is a little bit weird. Mostly if you, you know, if you have one disease on one fish, you usually be on the other. Um, so the full pond is being treated just to be the safe side. So like these guys are... In now, look, you can he's starting to get a bit of fin malt. I think that's because he's starting to get a bit of fin malt, it's because of the fungus. Um, I hope he doesn't die, he's too beautiful. But I think, in general, these three, I think the grass koi would probably will pass. Um, and because he's the worst one of the three, uh, two, he's also old. Uh, he's a good couple years old. Whereas these younger ones are still quite young, they're still quite fit. When I catch these, uh, these two younger ones were. Uh, still a little bit feisty. They wasn't as feisty as the Muji should be, but they were still a bit feisty enough where, you know, it did struggle. So, at the moment, they're on a 150 litre tank. And what I will do is still a water change every couple of days. Uh, so I just make sure that water quality is staying fresh for them as much as possible, as well as then they're being treated with uh, meat fix. Uh, tank edition one. And I, I think that, um, that, like the treatment in the pond isn't working at the moment, and I think that's because the temperature in the pond is still uh, quite low. The main is still like I think it's like set about twenty degrees, whereas now we're, now they're in this tiny site in between twenty to twenty two degrees. So hopefully, these guys will make it. I'm kind of hoping all three of them will make it, but I do fear worse for the grass koi. I do. I did pay a bit of pond read uh, with them. So I think what I'm going to do with the pond, uh, as they are getting a big upgrade soon, the rest of the koi's at the back, and uh, some of the goldfish. What I'm going to do is bring in some of the, the smaller goldfish and put them in the other three foot tank. Again, this one does have heat on. You do it so about 20 degrees just to make sure any bacteria and fungus infections will go. Um, so I think... What I'm going to do when I get five minutes is to do a 100% watch change on the pond and at the same time when I'm doing that is I'm going to catch all the fish, put in the buckets and just see which one does have the fungus, which one needs to come in. Um, I'm kind of hoping that then once we got them in you, hopefully then we can fight the fungus as best as we can. Uh, being indoors, pit of outfalls. Um, as well as I'm going to move some of the smaller goldfish and some smaller koi's in that three foot tank for now. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just rip the grab route from the bottom of the pond. Um, rip the grab route from the bottom of the pond so hopefully then it can fight this fungus faction going on. It's a bit shit this is kind of happening. Um, but sometimes you can't really help it and it, it seems to have gone worse. Period of better, so I, I don't know what else to say really, but hopefully that the, these guys will make it. Also, on the bright side is Shelby's doing absolutely fine, enjoying this sunny light. We don't know should I go, isn't he, Shelves? And all the all the fish tanks are absolutely fine. We did last one fish each in one fish tank uh, in both fish tanks. 
we lost um, Oreo, a little fancy goldfish in the goldfish tank. And then we lost uh, the Platy, which I was expecting he was going to die. He just go to be honest with you, because I had him forever. So, at that point, you know. But other than that, all the fishing you're doing absolutely fine. Obviously, don't forget these two kois, Blacky and Rudolph, will be drawing the big pond once it's all built. Uh, but for now, they are staying in the tank as we do have this fungus faction going on, and they probably will have to wait for a bit longer. Uh, Trotter tank, absolutely fine. A bit low on stock in the balance here, in my opinion, but just need to get some more fish when it's a game of money. But other than that, everybody here is doing absolutely healthy, everybody's absolutely fine. Catfish also fine. Uh, all the plants are doing really well. I was at one or two, I think one of them is this one. I think it's because the fish are starting eating it. And then obviously we got this one, which is, you know, some of it's doing really well. And other bits done like, like a long stream there where it's like dying. But other than that, at least, uh, oh, and obviously, Rosie Roo. Hey, anyway, Rosie Roo, you're doing okay. Yeah, I want to give daddy a knife fight, don't I? Come on. Come on. Hey. Give daddy a knife five. I five. No, not touch. I five. Good girl. Good girl. But yeah, you're doing absolutely fine, baby girl. You doing fine? She's like, yeah, I'm doing absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah, but there we go. Well, Rosie and I will see you in the next uh, video. Come on, baby girl.